So the fourth quintuplet is here. Unfortunately, it's the winning quintuplet, probably one of the less favorite quintuplet or unexpected, but it's what happens, so we can't do anything about that now. But anyway, new ride line for the quintuplet, along with generic cards for Cater, which we start off with Magic of Whirly Winds Paralyzed, which is a grade one with 6k power in the skill. Auto Rigor. When your Vanguard is attacked, if it's a fifth battle or more during the turn, cost bind this unit, choose one of your units, and during that battle, it cannot be hit. In certain matchups, this does work well, but the the average deck does only 4 attacks for multi-attack decks. Other than that, I don't really see that much use for this. Next, Knight of Severing Sins, Nahalina. Grade 2, tanky power and skills. Auto 1, place on rearguard, cost all last 1, choose one of your opponent's rearguards, place it on the bottom deck, and then your opponent draws a card. If I remember correctly, this is technically Cater Sanctuary's first generic removal. Sure, your opponent technically doesn't minus anything out of it, but the fact that in Cater, you have a tech card that you can and technically remove one of your opponent's rear guards can actually be decent sometimes, especially sometimes the draw can be useless. It's just problematic rear guards basically to remove. So if you want, go ahead and tech this. Finally, for the new cat, Yellow Jewel Beast Torpass. Grade 1, AK Power and Skills. When placed on rear guard or guardian, cost choose two cards that were from the ride deck from soul or drop, return them to the ride deck face up, and then apply the following ability depending on the circle. On rear guard circle, you look at top five cards deck, choose one unit card with grade less than or equal to your vanguard and call it to rear guard. If you call the card not on main phase, it's called as rest. On guardian, 20k shield. Not too bad, just gives you a generic call from the top five cards, but overall, not too bad to run, and if you have space, go ahead and tech this in. And now to the Yotsuba ride line. Skipping the starter, we go to the grade 1 with 8 power, night after the school festival's Yotsuba Nakuro. Just like the other quintuplet ride lines, they all have the same skill where when riding on top of the quintuplet, you obtain the memory crest. But the big difference, and it's the added one, is that you search your deck for one quintuplet and put it into your memory and have shuffle your deck. This will be explained with the grade 3 by the way. But the second skill is the same as every other quintuplet where it with three or more different name quintuplets in your memory, it gets 5k shield. Nothing else to explain. And then to the grade 2 with 10k power, Bright's letter, Yotsuba Nakado. Pretty much spoils that she's the winning girl. First skill is basically a clone of the other ones, where when riding on top of the grade 1 quintential quintuplet, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose up to one quintuplet card from among them, and put it into your memory. But the second skill is a little bit more unique, where count rear guard, if a card was put into your memory this turn, this card gives us 5k power. There's 5 or more different named quintuplets 10k instead. This is going to be a playstyle of Yotsuba because it's all about putting cards in your memory. And this is the theme of Yotsuba because her memories give her strength and it builds up to what she is. Which is the grade 3 with 13 power, the quintential quintuplet Yotsuba Nakado, which has the same first skill as every other quintuplet, where when placed on Vanguard, look at top second cards with deck, choose up to two quintuplet cards from among them, put one of the revealed cards to your hand, the other goes to your memory, and of course, shovel your deck. In which we go to the second skill, where Auto Vanguard, when this card attacks, cost kind of plus one, this card gets a 5k power for every two quintuplet cards in your memory. If your memory has six or more with different quintuplet names, draw a card. Like usual, all the memories build up to one. One thing, in Yotsuba's case, it gives her strength to being a little more unique. In which we go to the third skill where Auto Vanguard, when this card attack hits a Vanguard, choose one quintuplet from your drop zone and put it into your memory. I'm gonna assume this theme is that Yosuba usually does not get things well, but when she does, she does. It is kind of her character after all. In which we have the final skill, which is the fourth one, yes, a fourth skill, where Auto Vanguard, at the start of your turn, if your memory has 14 or more quintuplets, with 7 of them that has different names, you win the fight. Spoiler alert, we only have 6 different named Yotsuba Nakados, which means you have to run the 7 card as Quintential Quintuplet, the starter itself. And of course, this final skill represents her being the chosen one, the one that beats all her sisters. And I'm going to be very honest, I was not really expecting this skill. And this is what everything kind of builds up to. The main playstyle of this ride line is basically place your cards into your memory. And then once you hit your condition, you win. And now to the order card, Memories of the School Festival for Yotsuba Nakado, which is a grade 3 normal order, and you play your Vanguard's quintential quintuplet Yotsuba Nakado. Choose up to two quintuplets with the same name from your draw zone, put one of them to the bottom of the deck, put the other to your memory. If you choose one more cards, perform all the following abilities equal to the the number of quintuplets with different names in your memory. 
Three or more, choose one of your vanguards until the end of your opponent's next turn, it gets plus 5k power. This is so you could be protected for the win condition. Five or more, counter charge one. Seven or more, choose a quintuplet rearguard and it gets this skill. Auto rearguard. When this card attacks, this unit gets to perform drive checks until the end of that battle. And at the end of that battle, put this into your memory. And of course, if that unit happens to be grade three, it performs the twin drive. Basically, a lot more pressuring attacks here. And considering that Yotsuba does have attack hit skills, that can be a little more deadly. It has defensive options, although probably not the best, but the only point of this deck is to build up for your 14 so you can win. So I say this is serviceable, especially for the rear guard drive checks for pressure. And then to some more support cards, the day of the school festival, Yotsuba Nakado, which is the grade 1 wiki power, has the same skill as every other quintuplet, where when placed on rearguard during your main phase, if your vanguard is a quintuplet, look at the top of your guards or your deck, choose one quintuplet card from among them and put it to your memory, and of course shove your deck with the same second skill of count rearguard if your memory has three or more quintuplets, plus 2k power on both players' turns. You still have to run this because different name quintuplets. In which we go to Bright Smile Yotsuba Nakado, which is a grade 2 win taking power, and the skills. Auto rearguard when this card attack hits. If your vanguard is quintuple quintuplet Yotsuba Nakado, you can play this skill where it costs counter blast 1. Put a quintuplet from your drops onto the bottom of the deck, search your deck for one quintuplet, and put it into your memory. If your memory has 5 or more quintuplets with different names, you draw a card. Unfortunately, it has to attack hit, but this is going to be your main drive check rearguard target, just to give your opponent pressure with the drive checks. But it does in a way build up to your 14, which is your main goal. So that's it for the Yotsuba ride line along with the generic cater cards. What do you guys think of it? Generic cater cards is just a whatever, it's just a cat that is interesting. And maybe that grade 2 that can remove your opponent's rear guards, that is not really a minus. As for Yotsuba, it's okay, but a little conditional, but it makes sense for how the anime went. But on that, I have to say it's kind of really weak on how conditional it is. Yes, conditional win condition. But not really strong in my opinion. But on that, that's it for this, and see you all next time.